Grab your tutti fruities. It's getting close to the end of the year, Pastor oh, Scott. Oh, so close. God's got the best year ahead of you. we got a great show today. We're going to be in Hebrews 6.11. This is a Bible study. It is a Bible study. We'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Scott. Pastor Jason. It's good to have you with I'm us so today. I'm so excited about 2023. I know, right? I am so excited. I'm excited for you. It will be your best year yet. Keep saying it. Keep speaking it. Yeah. Put that out in front of you. Don't forget to sh uh, share this. Like it. We're walking into 2023 with great expectation of victory and winning and prosperity, abundance, health. Boom. Oh, it's happening this year. Hebrews okay, so, 6, 11. Yeah, yeah. And we desire that every one of you do shoe. Shoe? Shoe. Do shoe? <laughs> I, think, I think it's show. I think it's show. Show the same You diligence. got the King James Version. To shoe the diligence. We're going to shoe the same diligence. Mm -hmm. To the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye not be slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. So, so it really, if the Jason version would sound like this. And here's what we want, is that all of you would show the same diligence as like Abraham and all the yes. other heroes of faith, to the full assurance of hope all the way to the end. All oh, right. Like you got to hold on to it to the end so that you're not being lazy, right? Because when you're lazy, you quit. You give up. Yeah, and I you like don't hold on to that assurance, and, that diligence. And patience. Mm -hmm. He says, so don't be lazy, but be followers or imitators of those who through faith and patience and patience and patience inherit the promises. So, so God how do you wants get to you... the promises? Oh, come on now. How do you get to the promises? Faith and patience. It's faith. See, I think people have faith. Lord, heal me. And then they're like, well, what's going on? There's the lazy. What happened? And I don't like, what am I I don't like calling you lazy. Right. Uh, so I'm not. I'm not calling you no, lazy. but it is lazy. But the Bible called you lazy. Right. I didn't. I was innocent. <laughs> but I've been lazy before. I'll, I'll ever, put it on me. Jason, I've quit early before. Jason, have you ever prayed for something and it didn't happen for a long time? Uh, yeah. Pretty, like, there's a high percentage of those. <laughs> and I would agree with that. A very high percentage. Yeah. And then later you go, okay, well, that was a perfect time. It was God's timing. He's like, God's like, yeah, I got a plan here. I'm working on something. Because, you know, Abraham could have had a child... Way before. Well, he kind of did with, with the different woman. Right, but you know what I'm saying? He could have yeah. had, right? He could have had, right? It, but it wouldn't have been the miracle that God was looking for. No. People God's like, like, no, it's got to be you and people Sarah. Are like, well, what's the big deal? So you had the baby. He had to wait until Sarah's womb was dead. Right. So that it would be a child born of the supernatural of the promise, just like Jesus, because it was a picture of Christ being born. Right. And so the same thing for your life. Sometimes it's just patience. But you don't give up. You don't stop speaking it. You don't stop saying it. You just continue to hold on and know that God's, you got it, God. Yeah, just kind of hear God echoing in your mind, hey, I'm working on something right now. Like, I'm, I'm working on this. I've I'm got on a it. plan. I'm, I'm on it. And I think that, um, I talked about that in December, is knowing that God is working for me. Yeah. And I think that's a, a big thing of knowing. that There's where my faith lies. My faith lies in the fact that I know that God is working on the best life possible mm -hmm. for me. I know mm -hmm. He is. So I don't know all the things that God does. I don't know how many things God has to bring and how many things God got to orchestrate and all the things that got to go and the timing that God wants it all to happen. But I do know this, that my God is working on my behalf. I've been playing around with this message. I haven't written it yet, but I'll just bring it up now. That it says in the book of Hebrews that when... When Abraham was going to sacrifice his son, his only son, Isaac, because God had asked him to, but God didn't intend for this. Mm -hmm. He was just marching it out and he was right. playing out the resurrection and the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ is really what the metaphor was. But he walks up to Mount Moriah to sacrifice his son, Isaac, on the mountain. The Bible says the reason Abraham was willing to do this was because he reckoned that God would raise his son from the dead. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Now, God didn't have, God didn't allow him to touch his son. Of course he wouldn't because he's God and he's the father and he loves us. And he replaces the son's sacrifice with a ram that was in the thicket. And so the angel of the Lord stops Abraham and says, whoa, hold on, use the ram instead. The ram was a picture of Christ. Of course, Christ died for us. Right. It was in place of his son that, that Christ died. And so... It was a three-day journey to, to where wow. Abraham did this. It's all pictures. And so when, when, when the Bible says in Hebrews that Abraham reckoned that God would raise his son from the dead, it says this, and symbolically he did. Wow. Okay, so, but watch this, right? 
he reckoned what God would do. And I wonder how many of us haven't taken the time to reckon how God's going to work this out. Like, so you know, good, I, you know, like the, the, hillbill, I hear the, the hillbillies, like yeah. why I, I, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon that what the sheriff wants is, you know, like you, you're kind yeah, of trying to figure something out. I reckon. We have to take time. Not, he was wrong about what God was going to do. But he reckoned God was, but he reckoned that God was going to do the but right thing. But he knew that God would never allow his son to be dead. Right. He knew God was going to take care of it. He knew that God was a do good God. Do you think God. that was a weird conversation when they got home? Do you think that like Isaac spilled the beans? So, hey mom. Because so, I know my, my wife would be like, so what'd you guys do today? Well, dad was dad was gonna kill me. <laughs> How does that go over? Dad, like, because like, my wife's like, you don't include me in anything. God told you to kill our son, and you didn't think to stop and say, "Hey, have a conversation with me about it." Well, I reckon that God <laughs> raised him from the dead. You reckon? We do reckoning now. That's what we do. <laughs> it's kind of. I carried this one for nine months in my womb <laughs> after believing a promise for twenty years, and this is how you treat. This is how you treat me. <laughs> I wonder how many of us can take the time now, right now, whatever you're facing, and it looks impossible, but you could take a moment to reckon, reckon. how God is going to work it out. You might even oh, be wrong how he's going to work it that. out, but we might as well think about God in a good light in that kind of way. I reckon that 2023 is going to be my best year. I want you to see this right now. This is my my iPad where I keep all my, my Bible and my notes and stuff. And then the camera, do you see that? I do. It's like a, a little hole. It's a, no, do you see it? What is it? Down in there. What is it? It's a seed. It's a mustard seed. In the camera. <laughs> He's hunkered down. There, I got it out. It's from a couple episodes ago. A couple episodes ago, the mustard seed must have landed in there and stayed in there this it whole time. It was actually quite a few episodes ago. <laughs> it was a lot of episodes. It ago. was like it was like a lot. Tell was, us if you remember when that was. It was like uh, it was a month ago. It probably. Was, uh, pretty I can't close. Remember. Twenty some days. Mm. Anyway, that's how long it's been in there. Well, we just encourage you, if you receive something today, uh, be generous. You know, freely we receive, we freely give. It's always good to give back. Uh, you can partner with us financially. See something on the screen there and how you can get to that donation page. But it just really helps us out, reach more people, and that's what we're after. Amen. Let's pray over the day. Dear Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord, that we're going to reckon that you're going to do the the best you can, best best for our life, Lord, that 2023 we reckon is going to be a, the best year. Mm. Lord, we reckon that, Lord, you're working on our behalf. We reckon that, Lord, that you are putting things together mm. as I speak. Thank you, Lord. That you are already going before us and making a way where there was no way, that you're doing impossible things, that you're moving the mountains and you're, you're breaking down strongholds in our life, that 2023 we reckon is going to be an epic year in Jesus' yes, name. Lord. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be in <clears throat> church this weekend. Wherever Have a great is. new year. Yep. And uh, Happy hey. New Year. Happy New Year coming up. We'll see you uh, in 2023. Yes.